If you're familiar with how gradients work in Inkscape, then you probably already know that you can take an object and give it partial transparency by applying a gradient like that. Now, as you can see, the left-hand side of the object still has all of its color, whereas the right-hand side slowly transitions to transparency. What if you wanted to do the same thing to a group of objects, though? Well, if you select your group of objects and you try to apply a, a gradient the same way, you end up with something like this right here. And it's pretty safe to say that this is probably not the effect you're going for. So how would you go about applying partial transparency to this group of objects like you did to this object right here? This is where opacity masks will come into play. And that's what I will be demonstrating in this tutorial. This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create an opacity mask using Inkscape. Before we get started though, if you'd like to learn everything that there is to know about Inkscape, be sure to check out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over every tool and feature in Inkscape, and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Inkscape, as you can see, I have this selection of objects here. If I click and drag over all of them, this, is a, this entire design consists of a bunch of individual objects. I'm going to go ahead and group them together using this button right here that says Group Selected Objects. And what I want to do is apply an opacity mask to this so that I can have partial transparency. So to do that, let me first open up the Fill and Stroke menu, which is over here. You can click on this or you can go to uh, Object, Fill and Stroke, and that'll open up that menu right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the masking feature. Instead of applying a linear gradient like I would with an individual object, I'm going to use the masking feature instead. Okay, and the way masking works is that you take an object and you apply it over the group of objects. And whatever, whenever the object is black, it becomes transparent on the group of objects. But when it's white, it becomes opaque. It's a lot easier for me to demonstrate how this works than it is to explain it. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab the squares and rectangles tool, and I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle covering the entire subject here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this black, and I'm going to give this a linear gradient with this button right here. And I'm going to click on this stop on the right-hand side, and I'm just going to make that white. So we have a, a gradient going from black to white like this. Now, how this works is what I, when I take this object right here and apply it as a mask to the group of objects beneath it, Whatever is black will become transparent, and whatever is white will remain opaque. Okay, so let me show you what I mean here. Let me grab the Select tool. Let me click and drag over both of these objects, my grouping of objects, as well as the mask that I created here with this rectangle. I can go to Object, Mask, Set, and as you can see, there's some partial transparency here. Over here on the right-hand side was the color white, so this is more visible, whereas over here is the color black, so this becomes more transparent. Now, if you want to alter this further, you can go to Object, Mask, Release, and let me click off of that to deselect everything. Let me click on just this object right here, and I'm going to grab the Gradient tool, which is right here, and I'm going to move this white stop in like this, and then I'm going to move this black stop in like this, and I'm holding Control when I do this to lock it onto the horizontal axis. Now, if I go back to the Select tool, and I select both of those objects and go to Object, Mask, Set, as you can see, the right-hand side of this is more visible now because there was more white included in that mask, whereas the left-hand side is more transparent because there was more black included in that mask. And a tip, one helpful tip for how you can go about adjusting this better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this. Object, Mask, Release. What you can do is you can take this object right here and bring the opacity down a little bit so you can see exactly where the black and white lines up. So if I take that and I go back to the gradient tool, I can take this white stop and put it directly in the middle like this. And I can take this black stop and put it almost next to it like that. And now what I can do is go back to the select tool, take the object, take the mask and bring the opacity of it all the way back up. If you apply the mask with partial transparency, you're gonna have partial opacity in your object, which is not what you're looking for. So make sure to bring that opacity all the way back up. Click and drag over both objects, object, mask, set. And there you go. And I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can go about creating an opacity mask with Inkscape. And by the way, this doesn't just work with linear gradients. This can work with a radial gradient as well. I'll show you that real quick. I'm going to choose a radial gradient and let's go ahead and apply it again. Object, mask, set. And as you can see, the center where the black was became transparent, where the outside became fully opaque. One last thing I want to show you though, before I end this video, you can take your object, go to the gradient tool, and you can click on 
I believe it's this button right here, reverse the direction of the, the gradient. Let's say you want the outside to be black and the inside to be white. Just click that button right there and it reverses it for you. And now you can click and drag over both of it. Go to Object, Mask, Set. And there you go. And that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about easily creating uh, an opacity mask using Inkscape. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.